Yes. You could call, call them the odd couple, General Dempsey and Ori Broffman's new book. It's called Radical Inclusion, What the Post-9-11 World Should Have Taught Us About Leadership. It takes a critical look at leadership in today's changing world, and they call on leaders to emphasize where we converge, not where we, not where we diverge, to emphasize inclusion. General Dempsey and Ori Broffman, it's great to have you guys at the table. Good to be here. Thank you. You two are quite the duo. We'll get the history of your you relationship think? in just a second. <laughs> yes. But I like one of your first lessons about leadership came when you were just 22 years old because you've, you've commanded forces from 45 people to over two, 2 million by the time you were done. But here you are, 22 years old. You get your first real test of leadership managing this group of 45. What happened? Because they were very different people. Well, you know, you graduate from West Point where they do a terrific job of getting you ready. And then you, you go into the regular army, and the army I entered in, 70, in 74, post-Vietnam, had huge racial issues and drug issues. And, and we, were, we were finding ways to pull, each, to pull itself apart rather than to, to bring it together. And in that environment is when I first started thinking about a leader's most important responsibility, which is to develop in the team a sense of belonging. And that's why we wrote the book, because we think it's even harder to lead today. Mm -hmm. and, and, and or you write that a failure to deeply embrace inclusion would be the defining leadership failure of the 21st century. What is radical inclusion? So inclusion is more important today than ever has before. Um, inclusion isn't just a nice to have, it's a strategic imperative. And the way that we tackle it is it's about winning or losing. And if you want to win, you need to be inclusive. You need to create a sense of belonging with everyone within your organization and even more broadly on a global uh, scale. You say not admission, it's also about participation and that's what people don't get. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the reason we say it's harder today is that the amount of information that kind of washes over leaders and their followers, uh, some of which is hard to discern. You know, you've heard the phrase, you know, fake news and false facts. It's, yes, it can have. be difficult. Mm -hmm. It can be difficult to understand how to navigate that space as an individual, and then a leader has to help. And so we think developing trust is important, and you can really only develop trust if you include people in every aspect of the, of the organization. We're having a real-time national vision of leadership in the president, so evaluate him in the terms of your book. I will not evaluate our president in terms of the book. It's, you know, I'm a retired military officer because military officers, both active and retired, are charged as part of our professional ethos not to be uh, political. I will say that the book, no leader is absent all of those attributes. There's six principles, three instincts, and the imperative of inclusion. I think others will judge whether uh, this particular president or any president uh, uh, follows those principles and instincts. General, let me ask you this. North Korea, just this week, signaled openness, right, to talks about de denuclearization. What's your reaction to those developments? My reaction to developments in the security challenges we face, whether it's North Korea, China, Russia, Iran, uh, you know, this radical stretch from Afghanistan and Nigeria, is that's why we need inclusion. You mm. can't do five things at, at once by yourself. North Korea is, exists in a, in a sphere of influence in part of which is ours, Japan's, mm. South Korea's, Australia's. We have allies and partners all mm. through the region. Specifically about North Korea, look, these are the same fellows, not the same ones, but this, the same country that negotiated the shape of the table at Panmunjom in the 50s for three months. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting ready to uh, have negotiations where they will negotiate something illegal, which is a nuclear capability, and we'll be negotiating something legal, which is our presence on the peninsula. The question we have to all ask ourselves is what will we be asked to potentially give up or is it worth it? Is it in our national interest to do so? And we have to un figure out whether we have the stamina to stick with this, because this is going to be a long process, mm -hmm. and we don't want our own readiness to degrade in the interim. But, Marty, I think that you would agree that in a country, we're not our most inclusive that we've been in history. Mm -hmm. And I think that needs to change. Mm -hmm. And Who's not inclusive? The government's not inclusive? I think political both leadership. sides. So I live in California. You can guess my politics. Uh, at the same time, uh, some of my close friends started the Tea Party. And on both sides, feeling, people are feeling so marginalized and so unheard. And one of the biggest principles we have in the book is this concept of listen, amplify, and include. And if you can do that... Uh, 
that sounds inefficient to people who want to get things done. It sounds like long meetings and lots of people talking and nothing gets done at the end. And or lots of people learning. And one of our principles is a bias for action in this uh, environment. It's a balance. And by the way, these kids uh, who are becoming active yeah, in Florida and, and are really demanding that they be heard, that they amplify good ideas and they're included, we think that's terrific. It's very interesting the two of you got together. You're vegan. You are not. <laughs> We're not. Carnivore. I mean, and, and even your friends are worried. How, how are these two going to make it work? But you do. It's inclusive. You got, yeah, inclusive. Because, yeah. because you are the example yeah. of inclusive. Yeah, There's so, ma so. so many good lessons in this book. <laughs> thank you for beginning that discussion. We all need it. General Martin Dempsey and Ori Brothman, thank you.